outside, we're going to check out the Shiitake Twins Up by Canada Surfboards. is a 6.7 and it comes in at 6.7 by 20 and 11 sixteenths by 2 and 3 quarters and exactly 41 litres. So Shiitake Twinser by Panda is something different. Um, not like the normal boards we kind of check out which are normally you know short boards and fishes or short fishes anyway. Not like these long ones. Uh, and this is a Twinser. So it's pretty unique and it's very different to anything I've ridden before. So looking over the Shiitake Twinser uh, it holds a lot of volume under the chest. I don't know if you can see there, two and three quarters thick, and it holds that volume almost the whole way to the rail. It has a fairly full rail, and it also has a really nice beaked nose. So what that's gonna do is hold that two and three quarters under your chest, and it's gonna hold it out as far as it can, and that beak will allow that foam to sit in the nose and hold a significant amount of volume under your chest. So that's gonna give you some increased paddle power and nice glide across flat sections. Um, and then at the back end of it, we've got a tight little swallow. So what that does, it gives you this big board which can, you know, feel long and big, but when you get on the back, it actually allows some performance surfing. It's a nice little tail, uh, it's tight and it's really easy to turn. Uh, flipping it over, um, nothing crazy going here. It feels like there's a bit of a V up the front, uh, which comes through to it feels like there's a concave. I don't know if it's a V through a single, but the V gets actually significantly quite deep through the fins. Uh, through here you can really feel that V pushing out the stringer between the fins and out through the tail. And you can actually really feel that when you're surfing for such a large board, it has a really nice rail to rail feel and it's really easy to turn and kind of leverage off that V. So I've been riding the Shiitake Twinser for a while now. Probably had it for the last six to eight weeks and across that time we've had a whole variety of conditions from some, you know, really small kind of knee to waist high rip balls uh, through to some pretty large days where I live, which you know haven't been great, but some old kind of you know five to six foot runners. Uh, what I've loved about this is um, mid length of fun and you know you can get into waves early and cruise and have this trim, but I've found them a bit, a bit limiting at times when you actually want to do a half decent kind of you know performance turn or do your best surfing. But what I've loved about the Shiitake Twins are it has all this volume up in the chest, paddles really well, you get into every wave that comes near you within a mile, has amazing glide across flat sections. But I can actually jump on the back here, got this nice little tight swallow tail and this twins are set up and actually do some half decent kind of turns. Look, I'm not gonna start doing kind of like any airs or any like, you know, vert back end rios or anything but you still can do a decent turn and feel like you're doing some decent surfing. Where I feel some mid-lengths, they give you great glide and flow, but you can probably do some really long kind of drawn out turns, but nothing that, you know, feels really great. Uh, and that's what I've really loved about this. On the other end of the scale, I've actually ridden this when we've had some pretty big days, uh, probably in like the five to six foot range. And the benefits being, it's actually got a bit of kind of a gun feel. So it's had all that volume under the chest. You know, I've got this place where it's big right that I surf. It's like a bad version of Halle Eva. Uh, and it kind of rolls in slowly into the corner. And I get into things nice and easy on this, but because of that twins are in that nice little swallow tail, I could still do some kind of half decent, you know, drawn out turns. It is a big board and it is significantly larger than what I normally ride, but I still feel like I could do some really good surfing. And it felt, you know, had some similarities to like the seven foot kind of, you know, step ups and guns I would ride when things get bigger. Um, but maybe a little bit more added paddle, paddle power. And that felt really, really nice. Flipping over the Shiitake Twinser, this is where it all happens. So this is a Twinser. Uh, it's not a quad, it's not a twin fin, it's a Twinser. So what you have is you ride generally an uh, upright twin fin, and what I've written here is the T1 by Futures. And then in front of this twin fin setup, you have some glassed in side bites. So I wasn't really sure about this, how it worked. I wasn't sure if it was for like increased hold, because it's such a long board, it actually has a significant rail line. So you don't need a whole lot of fin. But what it does is really, really interesting. Um, sometimes when I surf boards, especially like this, and especially in small conditions, you'll find yourself moving up the board. So your, your front foot might be here, but you might move your back foot up. 
to get some more kind of down the line trim and glide. And that's great to get speed and pace, but that can also be sometimes limiting when you go, oh, here's a section, I wanna kind of do a turn. What I found with a Twinzer, which I wasn't expecting was really unique, it didn't matter if my foot was directly over the fins where it should be, or it was up here, I could still turn the board. I, like not just turn it, but you know, actually do like a Rio or a cutback or whatever. So I'd have my foot in a good position for drive and down the line speed. And that same position was where I could do a decent turn. So that blew me away. I didn't find myself kind of shuffling back to get over the fins. And I was able to turn uh, anywhere I was on the board. And I think that's because of that Twinzer setup, rather than being designed to give you more hold, it gives you a greater kind of, um, you know, area to turn. And I think also it's got this significant V that runs down the center. So it makes that kind of rail to rail transition and to turn, like I said, regardless of where you are, because that V is quite, you know, um, significant in that area where you'd probably have your rear foot. So turning on the board is really, really easy. Uh, normally in these things we talk about literage, but at 41 liters, which is about 10 plus liters above my short boards, I feel that's kind of insignificant. What's important here is probably length. Uh, so I'm five foot 10 and a half, uh, 90 something kilos, 92 kilos, uh, and this is six foot seven. So it sits at around eight, eight and a half inches taller than I am, and the thing felt absolutely mental. Um, it had the perfect amount of glide and paddle power, and like I said, I could still turn it, but it made me really quite intrigued about what it would be as a longer board. I'd actually be pretty frothing to check one out, you know, maybe like seven, six, even quite long, you know, a really, really long version, because you're gonna get more volume, but you're still gonna have that ability to do decent turns. It's not too limited like you might have with like a single with side bites in a mid length. Uh, it's really easy to turn. I'd actually like to check it out a little bit longer. If you look at the other end of the scale, Stab have just released uh, the electric acid surfboard test with Noah Dean. And Noah Dean rides a 6.4, I think it is, of this board. Uh, Noah does some very different surfing to I. Uh, he's trying to do airs on it, trying to get pretty radical. I don't know if that's what the board's designed for, but Noah absolutely rips and he's gonna do what he's gonna do. But it was really cool to see, you know, this has got more of a kind of mid length towards that seven foot kind of, um, Thing going on and that had more 6.4 more towards like a shortboard length. So it's cool to see what the board across that whole range uh, was capable of. And you know, Noah's an amazing surfer and, and he does some really cool stuff on it. So if you haven't seen the electric acid surfboard test, um, check it out. Yeah, I think you can buy it on like iTunes or something like that. Uh, and also on YouTube, Stab have released a few different clips and there's a clip with Blake talking about this board in a bit more detail, which is awesome. Um, look, overall, I've absolutely frothed out on the Shiitake Twinser. It's not what I'd normally grab, but you know, as I'm getting older and we have such varied conditions, I want boards that I can jump on. They're gonna be easy to surf and I'm always gonna be have fun. Uh, this did that. And it didn't just kind of mark one board in the quiver. It actually was a board I grab when it's, you know, a foot and people are riding like nine, six miles and stuff. And it's something I grab when it's like six foot plus, probably not when it's too steep and sucky, but when there's big solid kind of rolling in, you know, lefts or rights, this thing was absolutely mental and it had a bit of a step up kind of gun feel and it was very, very capable in those kind of waves. Look, overall, I've absolutely frothed out the Shiitake Twinzer. Um, this thing is gonna sit in the quiver for a long time. Like I said, it's something I can grab in a whole range of conditions. Look, I've absolutely loved it and hope you get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.